There comes a time after every Cars movie when Lightning McQueen and Slash or Mater assert their dominance over the Cars diecast universe and Mattel releases countless variants of both characters flooding the pegs with unwanted releases and tormenting little children. It is that time, ladies and gentlemen. Lightning McQueen is about to reassert his dominance over the Cars world. I'm just kidding, guys. But seriously, it does kind of feel like 2010 when we got variant after variant after variant of Lightning McQueen. And even in 2013 when Mater got variant after variant after variant. And literally in the last case, case E, we had Cupcake Lightning McQueen, which was a super exciting variant. And now we're in case F, and there's another new variant of Lightning McQueen. What do you know? And this one is Muddy Rusty's Racing Center Lightning McQueen. Now, I'm just kind of joking, guys. I actually am excited for this variation of Lightning McQueen. And although it may not be as exciting as Cupcake McQueen, it certainly is a cool one. I cannot wait to get into the review of him. But like, yeah, like I said, he is in case F of 2020 singles, which I unboxed on Saturday. If you missed it or just want to check it out again, because it is pretty exciting. A lot of cool cars. I'll put the link in the description below and the card suggestion pop up in the top right hand corner. The other new car in the case is Silver Tim Treadless, who I will be reviewing on Thursday. So hopefully your guys' weeks are going well. Online classes for me started yesterday, so that was fun. I saw a lot of weird videos online of Zoom, like funny entertainment, like people just, I don't know, not wearing clothing in their like FaceTime lectures, which is just kind of strange and people saying stuff when they think they're muted. So kind of funny stuff. Let me know if you are having any online class experiences in the comment section below or any online work experiences. My work is completely shut down because I'm a caddy and the country club is closed. But anyway, we have a nice picture of McQueen in kind of his mud wet appearance there after Mr. Drippy exploded on him, revealing his actual identity. He's in the Thunder Hollow series and you can see the figure eight up top, Thunder Hollow. There's a nice little picture. You can see a sliver of McQueen there, but mainly you can see Patty, Bill, Sigler, and of course the demoness herself, Miss Fritter. It's crazy eight night at Thunder Hollow Speedway as La Noche de las Carreras de la Pista and Ocho en la Pista de Carreras Thunder Hollow. That is a lot of repetition. <laughs> there you have Jambalaya Chimichanga, Liability, APB, and a nice prototype image of this muddy Rusty's Racing Center McQueen. These other three have been released many months ago, so APB and Liability were in case I believe B and then Jambalaya joined them in case C, but of course they all are re-releases, just variants now from Thailand. So yeah, I'll be right back with this awesome McQueen all opened up. So here is Muddy RRC Lightning McQueen all opened up. And I have to say, he looks phenomenal. I'm not just saying this because I'm trying to be optimistic over a variant, but honestly, the tone of paint that they use for this and how the mud looks on him and the expression all ties in to make a really realistic release that I actually might like more than Cupcake Lightning McQueen. So let's dive right in here. Of course, there he is in the movie. We'll do a little enactment or a reenactment in a second here, but basically, He's in the Demolition Derby as Chester Whippafilter Lightning McQueen. And then Mr. Drippy tips over. <laughs> the water comes out and sprays all the mud off of McQueen, revealing to everybody there and Miss Fritter that it's actually Lightning McQueen. So kind of a funny moment in the movie. However, one inaccuracy that I'm going to point off right off the bat is that you can see there in the picture that his back left tire is actually blown off because of Miss Fritter's stop sign. So here's Miss Fritter here. This is the first variant of her. That's why the stop sign looks a little different than maybe what you're used to. But this here flew off and burst McQueen's back left tire. So theoretically, this should be like burst. It should look like how finished 
line Lightning McQueen's rims look here, which is one of my favorite variations of McQueen because it's so accurate. But yeah, if you kind of just switch these out here, then you would have a really accurate interpretation of this scene in the movie. But yeah, that's pretty much what went down. I mean, you kind of do a little reenactment here, but Mr. Jip, he's like, oh, Mr. Further, and then, oh, oh. and then the water just goes, and then you have this. <laughs> so yeah, interesting, funny moment in the movie there. Would have been cool if they included that burst tire and maybe even the stop sign as well. I think that would have been pretty sweet. But nonetheless, we're going to take it for how it is. One thing that I'm upset about, though, is when I opened it, I noticed this glob of something on his spoiler. And it's not a chip because it's raised off the paint. I'm trying to scrape it off, and I can't do it. It's on there really, really well. And I don't want to, like, actually scrape the paint with my fingernail, so I'm trying to do it delicately, but as you can see there, I am bending my fingernail on this thing, and it's not coming off. I have no idea what that is, so a little upset about that, but it is what it is. We're going to start here with his expression, and I'll pull alongside the Chinese version of Rusty's Racing Center Lightning McQueen for a comparison. But yeah, he's got his worried expression because, you know, he's in the stressful arena with a demoness of a boss, Miss Fritter, and then now his identity just got revealed to everybody, so it's going to be on the news within the media, and he knows that, and that's exactly what happened. Chick Hicks makes fun of him, and everybody thinks that he's, you know, losing it, basically. Now, I really want to take a moment here to appreciate the metallic finish here on him, because, you know, even though he's muddy and he's wet and all that, the metallic paint really still shines through, or the wrap, rather, but it is a different kind of finish than here on the Rusty's Racing Center McQueen, the normal version here. You can see that's a more traditional metallic finish. And now I know this is China, but same thing here with the Thailand version, which I have only in the package right now. You can see that I'd say these two metallic paint finishes are more similar than these two metallic paint finishes, even though both of these here are from Thailand. And I really am impressed with how Thailand did this one as well. I mean, it looks even shinier than this. I don't know. They all three have different little appearances, but I really do like this. And the reason I don't want to open it up is because it's got chips there. And if I'm going to open one up, I'd like it to be nicer than that. But yeah, very interesting how they did the paint here to make it look kind of like washed up and still have that sparkle to it, but still look realistic because of all the mud and water on him and as you can see there on the hood you know you got these water spots here which looks really cool you know it kind of changes and how the light hits it got a big splotch up there looks really really good of course the rusty's logo there still in gold he's got his bolts which are kind of faded on the front here he's got some mud dripping down which looks awesome the mouth i mean that expression is phenomenal the eyes they even did a good job with here i really am impressed with that because it actually looks realistic, whereas with if you were to take the Rusty's McQueen here from Cupcake McQueen, the eyes just don't look that good because of how dark the eyelids are compared to the rest of the body. But yeah, you got mud everywhere, especially here on his front fenders there. I mean, it's even uneven. Like, this is more than here. That looks awesome. You can even see along the edges that his wrap is coming off because it's you know, grading with the ground, which looks phenomenal. I mean, that attention to detail is really, really impressive, especially coming from Thailand, which a lot of people hate on. And I admit it has its faults, but it's definitely improving. And this is probably one of their best releases. I'd say top 10 Thailand releases without a doubt. Now his base is brown here because of the mud. Makes sense. His tires are completely caked in mud. But the sides of the tires are so well detailed here with the splattered mud covering a little bit of the light, your logo there, getting onto the rims a little bit. I mean, that's just awesome. Really, really well done. Of course, forgetting the fact that this one should be blown, but really, they look great. And each tire has a little bit different of a mud pattern. Like this one doesn't have as much mud as this one, for example. Same thing with like the mud, you know, on the actual body here. You can see this spot here is pretty clean, but if you were to look over here, there's a big mud splotch there. And throughout his entire body, he's got these drips of water, even on his windows. I mean, when have they ever put like decals on windows before, like the plastic inserts? I think that's phenomenal. I'm really impressed with that. 
The roof, though, is pretty clean, I must say. I guess he didn't get much mud up top here. Mr. Drippy just really cleaned them off nice. But you still do have the Lightning McQueen signature there. 95 in gold, roof flaps, window bars. But yeah, this part's pretty clean until you get to the spoiler. You can see a few droplets of water and mud. But yeah, I mean, just take a moment to really appreciate this and how all the dirt's scattered here. It's dripping. It really looks phenomenal. There's the gas cap, which is cleanly placed there. Sometimes when they put the gas cap in there, it messes up the decal. And I'd say it looks even more realistic than this. I mean, that just looks so silver. But here, this looks, you know, a little more of a gunmetal gray. I love that. I really am impressed with this release. And I wish that tire was blown, because otherwise, I might even give it an A+. On the back here, you have the Rusty's logo slanted, 95, with the little mud there. And, of course, you have drips throughout. That's awesome. All right, checking out the base here. He was made N03A. So this is the first car I have loose that was actually made this year, 2020. And it was made the third week of 2020. And N, of course, stands for 2020 and A for the factory. So all the cars that we've reviewed before this have M for 2019 and then a week of that year. So he's made pretty recently. I mean, what are we only like 10 weeks into the year? So he was only made seven weeks ago. Not bad, not bad. So my two only complaints are that blown tire and the fact that it has this nasty blob of whatever up here, which I apparently cannot scrape off. I'm going to go to town on it a little later and try and get it off. But I mean, that really is just my unique car here. It doesn't really apply to the overall scheme of it. But yeah, let's compare them to a few other cars here. Of course, this is the Chinese Rusty's Racing Center McQueen, which you saw. The rims were metallic, but now they're, you know, a pretty more basic color, which makes sense. Maybe the mud and water kind of faded it. Now, this is another variation of Rusty's Racing Center McQueen that was included in a four-pack in 2017, the sandy version. And I really hate this version just because of how cartoonish it is. I mean, the sand splatter here, the upsplash from the fender is so cartoony. I mean, literally, that's a, a perfect splatter. I mean, look at how... That just covers that small little area there. The sand covers literally every square inch of his tires and base, but still leaves the light year perfectly visible. He has no sand up in front here, only a little bit back here. I mean, that's just so sloppily done and so kind of, I don't know, just lazy on Mattel's part. Oh, I might have a little chip there. That's not what I like to see. But yeah, this is just, I don't know, really not much effort putting this version of him. And they kept the expression the same. But with this one, I mean, there's no comparison between the two. I also have the Precision Series version canceled of Rusty's Racing Center McQueen. And I'll put the link to my review of him along with a couple other canceled Precision Series releases in the description below. If you want to see how he looks with the hood open and whatnot. Because this hood is extremely hard to get open. I don't want to damage him for this video. But yeah, major difference is that the windows are opaque. He also has this little prototype code below a spoiler there, 200. And rubber tires. So those are all the Rusty's Racing Center McQueens I have. Of course, here is Chester Whipple Filter McQueen, the first version here's the second version from walmart that has rubber tires and the matte finish there's another variation that looks like this but with a matte finish i don't think i have that one loose though so yeah this is a nice rubber tire version and here is the muddy lightning mcqueen from cars one which is an og it's a classic so here are all the muddy lightning mcqueens i guess i have to say my favorite is still this one here he's actually pretty rare nowadays from the final lap series so who did it best? Which Muddy McQueen did it best? Who else do I have here? So yeah, I want to compare him a little bit to Cruz Ramirez's Frances Beltline, who has quite a bit of mud on her herself, which is nicely done. Don't get me wrong. But I mean, I think this is probably one of the best dirty you know, details they've ever done. I mean, they've done stuff like this before with like Burnt McQueen, Wet McQueen, of course, Nature Valley McQueen or Nature Drive McQueen. The Muddy McQueens, but I really think 
this is the best one here and i am going to give it a grade here in a moment which i have neglected to do recently i've just forgotten to be completely honest and every time i forget then i you know kind of creates a snowball reaction and i forget again and again and again but a lot of people brought it to my attention and so i'm going to give him a grade but please let me know in the comment section below which variation of these two last cases is your favorite cupcake mcqueen or Muddy RRCLM. In my opinion, I'm gonna have to go with the Muddy one here just because of how well done it is. And I'm not a huge fan of how this one has that expression there. I mean, I get it. It's like a play factor that you can have like normal McQueen here for a second, then Cal comes and splatters him and then bam, you have Cupcake McQueen. But I don't know. I'm really impressed with this despite its shortcomings. So yeah, let me know in the comment section below and I will give him an A really impressed with this variation of McQueen and I was kind of being a little satirical in the beginning of the video but you know all in all I do appreciate variations of McQueen because I mean they just create some nice storytelling moments and definitely happy about this one for sure I wouldn't be surprised if we get the Midnight Run McQueen soon which is the McQueen from that little like moon run they did in Thomasville when his rap starts to tear off and the Disney store did that version. So I wouldn't be surprised if Mattel did as well. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you guys on Thursday for a review of Tim Treadless. See you guys then. Bye now.